Morning campers. Day two. Early doors, just on our way up to Lat Rig. <whistles> yep. Actually, pretty much there. I think you can just see the summit. Come here, Ronnie. So I'll come back to you shortly when we're up top. Lat rig, beautiful, dead easy to skip up in half an hour, three quarters of an hour, but mega views, it's an absolutely beautiful morning, I think we've only got it for a couple of hours though, as of lunch the rain comes in, you'd think that that was impossible looking at the weather now, but that's what the forecast is saying, so lat rig, we're going to bomb up the road and do Southern Fell and then we'll see what the weather's doing this afternoon. Um, could do Winlatter or go over the other side of Derwent and do Waller Crag. There's another one up there as well, another one or two. So we'll go and do Southern and then see what the weather's saying to us. Absolutely amazing though. I'll just turn you around for a view of uh, Derwent Water. I think tomorrow it's looking like we might do Grisdale Pike I reckon four up there Grisdale Pike Hope Gill Head Barrow and Outer Side I think are the other two so they are straight over the path there but absolutely mega today let's just hope it lasts a couple of hours Coming up to the summit of Southerfell now, our last of the Northern Wainwrights. So that'll be nice. So that's two groups that we've done now. Eastern Fells, Northern Fells. I think tomorrow we could finish another set. Uh, I think I've got one in the Central Fells as well. So I could, uh, could be on four finished by the end of this week, which would be nice. Anyway, up to Southerfell, nearly there. Look at this for a view. Blencathra, Annadale Crags near side. Stunning. Absolutely amazing. A little bit of last week's snow still sitting. What a mountain.
Southern Fell, the last one of our Northern Fells. Pleased with that. Absolutely amazing up here today. Just can't get over the view of Blaine Catherine behind me. Absolutely perfect. The clouds are dropping though. Still okay, it's still. It's after lunch now. It's due to be raining by now. But we're still dry. So we'll head back to the van, have some lunch, and then hopefully get something else in this afternoon, as long as the weather's not too bad. Tomorrow's first port of call, Grisdale Pike. We'll be carrying on up and over the top of that to Hope Gill Head. Then we'll be cutting back round to the left. Over the back of the forest there, down outer side and barrow. Looking forward to that one. Yeah, looking forward to that one tomorrow. It's been on the to-do list for quite a while since we went up uh, Bath actually in the snow. Quite a while back now. Yeah, looking forward to that. We'll enjoy that one tomorrow. Wind latter. Although, this is wind latter, but the true summit He's up over there. So we'll nip over there in a minute. And we've done both. Or which one? I don't know which one would be the official way and right. But if in doubt, do the two. You can't go wrong. This is Brown How. It's actually, just looks on the map, it's actually a little bit shorter in height than Wind Latter, only by about six or seven metres. I think I'm right in saying that this is the way I'm right, but either way, we've done both. We can shark him off. Weather's held beautifully today. It's due quite a lot of rain this afternoon, but. Other than a little spattering on the drive up here, it's been uh, pretty clear. Just little bits of cloud up over the top of Grisdale Pike. And that's where we're going tomorrow. There's actually one more than I thought up there. Um, it's five. Just had a quick look. So, um, Grisdale Pike 
Hope Gill Head, White Side, which I missed off, and then Barrow and Outer Side. So those five, and that'll be Northwestern Fells done as well. So looking good now. The end is definitely in sight. Looking forward to uh, finishing up. Probably going to be a few weeks yet. Um, don't know when I'm going to get a chance to come back up after this on my own. So, but still, the end's in sight. Not got many left. Great Gable, two one four. About to drop back into the forest now, so I think we'll wrap it up there. It's been a good day. A little bit disjointed with driving in between and going up and down and whatnot, but really, really enjoyable nonetheless. We're really filling in the gaps now, just ticking off all the boxes as we need to. But tomorrow is a proper full day out, big circular route, so really looking forward to that. So we'll call it night here. Thanks very much for watching, and I uh, hope you join us for tomorrow's big one.